What's up, guys, and welcome back to the life of Kevin. Now, last episode, some things went down. We managed to have ourselves a lovely little barbecue sauce. Can can you stop? I'm, I'm trying to do my intro here, man. What are you watching? You're watching a house burning down, and you're clapping at it. That's sadistic. But like I was trying to say, we managed to have a little Barbie, and I'm going to age her up right now. We're not even going to have a birthday. We're not even... Send a home world. No, that'd be bad. Age up. We're going to do that right off the bat because, we, you know, we've done this before. We've seen what kids can do. This is crying furniture right now, and it's just going to aggravate me to death. So before we get to the actual plan for this episode, we're going to make her... I don't even know. We might make her a kid. We might make her a teenager. I'm going to wait to see what she looks like as a child. Here we go, Kevin. Oh. It, it's just that easy. All you have to do is stand next to her. And she looks like an alien child, as expected. Oh, the game froze. Okay. Childhood boundless creativity, rule breaking, and temper tantrums. Yeah, not for long. Uh, let the games begin. We're going to make her, I don't know, what do we make her? A whiz kid, because she's an alien. And I want to make her a scientist, so we're going to make her um, smart, I think. We'll make her a bookworm. Or a genius? Yeah, let's make her a genius. Now, some people had mentioned that some Sims might like aliens. We might want to interact with them, but others might be afraid of them, might not like them so much. So aliens can actually disguise themselves. So apparently we can, yeah, disguise self. Cool. So they have like an alien form as well. And do you have, yeah, you got all these like normal outfits as well. And I guess you can change, yeah, you can alter disguise just like you would with any creative Sim. I don't really want to do that this episode. We created stuff last episode. I think, yeah, I think we're going to age drop into a teenager next episode because I got some stuff that I want to show you that I'm really excited for. Ooh, we're going to need another place for you to sleep, though. Man, we really need to start making a bigger house. Like, we got two teenagers sleeping in here. Should we just have her sleeping in the middle? I feel like that's what we're going to have to do. I'm going to have to take some time and actually plan out this house because every time we get a new sim, I just end up throwing another bed or a small room somewhere. What are we going to have you sleep in? Here we go. We'll just put an alien one right in the middle. They can all share a room. It's a close family. You know, we're tight on budget right now. We might have to get rid of the art room for another bedroom at some point, but that won't be this episode. So Kevin's going to wake up early and serve breakfast for the whole family because the kids have a long day ahead of them. I've got some big things planned. I've gone and downloaded the Go to School expansion pack. I've been calling it the Get to School expansion pack. It's actually Go to School. It's a mod that lets you follow Sims to school. So you can go to elementary schools or you can go to high schools similar to the way you would go to work for people's jobs. So now we're going to be able to follow Apple and Tommy to school and see what that's about. I downloaded a high school and put it into our neighborhood. I've tested it out and it works. And it looks really cool, but I haven't done anything in it yet. I don't know what the interactions are going to be like. I don't know if we're going to have other teen sims to interact with. As apparently, it's supposed to generate teenage sims for your neighborhood and, and fill up the, uh, the classes and give you teachers and stuff like that. I'm really looking forward to seeing what it's about. Emma, man, oh man, you've, how long, okay, you know what, Faith, I love you, but you need to go in the inventory, you keep eating people, it is really, really hard to watch four, five sims at the same time and not have everybody be eaten, so, Emma, are you doing alright? You're hungry and you need to get a shower, okay, well, have, have breakfast first, I guess. I don't even want to know what they're talking about over breakfast, it is, their conversations are quite strange. Is it bad that the alien is having the most normal conversation talking about food over breakfast? Kevin is talking about marionettes, apparently, and llamas, of course, because he's never going to get over that. Okay, I think school starts at 8 o'clock, I'm pretty sure, so it should be popping up any, yeah, it worked, okay. It's time for Apple to take another day of immense boredom at the prison for young sims or school as it's better known. Maybe if you, the almighty player, decide to join her, you can help steer the day in the right direction. So I think if I send her alone, I can then uh, pick Tommy, and then if I send him alone, I can then pick uh, Barbie. The problem is, I don't know if they will all go to the same school. Like, if I send Apple alone, and then I follow Tommy, will Apple actually be at school? Or if I go with Apple now, and not with Tommy, is he going to go to school? I don't really know how it works. I've been trying a little bit behind the scenes to try to make it work, and it's not working very well. And I don't want to risk it, so today is going to be Apple's day at school. All right, so this is Unilama High, and it is a massive high school. This building is awesome. I downloaded this off the gallery. If you want to find it, it's the highest ranked high school there, and it looks really, really cool. So we're going to head inside and start looking around to see what we can do. There's a classroom over here. Oh, there is people here. Who are you? Oh, it gets a little bit choppy when you get inside. I guess it needs to load everything. 
You're a teacher? What the hell? This doesn't quite look like a high school teacher. I mean, it's been a while since I've been in high school, but I don't remember them looking like this, and I'm not really sure why Apple has decided to sit in his desk. I mean, but look at this place. Isn't this awesome? It's got like a full classroom and everybody's books and stuff are on their table. What are we supposed to do? Oh, okay. Learn from teachers, observe the skies with a telescope, craft a piece of furniture, and finish painting. Well, you're a teacher, so... Ask for help from homework. Oh, school? Okay. Oh, we learn. Learn hologram technology. That sounds interesting. That's inappropriate for a classroom, sir. Apple, you are going to need to keep an eye on this guy. He is super creepy. Not only does he dress up total gangster, but he's apparently flirting with a teenager. Who are you? What's going on? Oh, she just walked in and absolutely... Another teacher. Okay, you look like a teacher. Oh, what is going on? Everybody's so pissed. Acquired the hooky skill. What? School, school. I don't need the hooky skill. I'm at school right now. Okay, you know what? Screw this. We're going to go find some teenagers. Let's see here. What if we... Oh, wait. We're to go down a floor. Oh, there's like a music room. We got a bathroom. We got a gym. Oh, what do we here have here, Apple? Oh, we got ourselves a stud muffin. We have... Chris Collins. Let's go. Oh, we've already introduced ourselves, apparently. Let's go talk to Chris Collins. <laughs> Nothing like having a discussion over the old high school Excellent. scroll holes. You know, so who is horror. this guy? Chris Collins. He must be one of the generated ones, because he's not one that I've seen Excuse in our neighborhood you, before. Ooh. In fact, I don't know if we have... Ooh, laggy works. a little bit there. Perfect. Real bad. I, I don't know if we have any teens in the neighborhood. I don't. We probably don't. So we're going to introduce ourselves to as many people as we can. What I'm going to do with the kids is I'm going to introduce them to lots of people, but I'm going to let them form their own relationships. I'm not going to dictate who they're friends with. I'm not going to dictate who they date and that kind of stuff. I'm going to leave it mostly up to them because I like it when they kind of come up with their own stories. Who is this looker with the rabbit? Let's introduce ourselves to her. Oh, okay. It's like woodworking shop. You need to you need to build stuff over here and she's over here showing it to the teacher. We actually have a bunch of things to do, but I being a shitty student, I'm just going to introduce myself to a bunch of teenagers and make some friends. I really could not care less about my grade right now. I can already tell we're going to be best friends. Don't you just hate Miss Carlton? She is the worst, telling inappropriate jokes in front of the class. Stop laughing. Yeah, this is really cool. I really like this school. I think there's one more floor above us, but it seems to be... Whoa. It's a little bit laggy. I think there might be a little bit too much stuff going on in it. Not enough Sims and too many things. Apple has learned that Evie is single. Why would you be at... Ooh, that's interesting. What are you guys up to? Ooh, it's getting, it's getting sizzly here in the class. I don't know about this. This is... This is unexpected, but you know what? Like I said, I'm going to let them form their own stories. Apparently, she didn't like Chris very much. Chris just kind of went and wandered off, showed no interest. But uh, what was her name again? Evie. That's a cool name. Evie is showing interest. This is the most unstrict class ever. It's just three girls standing here talking. The teacher is... What are you doing? You're on Facebook or MSN by the looks of it. Maybe Kijiji? You're just... You're not doing any kind of work at all. Not teaching anything. I think there's one more floor. Is it? Ooh, what have we got? This is cool. There's like a crazy lab in the attic. What? Who's phoning us? Stop that. What can we do? That's a shower? Oh, it's like a containment thing. Like uh, if something goes wrong in the lab. Barbecue is staying after school. I don't know what that said. It doesn't matter. This is really neat. I want to I wanna use all this stuff. I want to experiment on all the things. Attempt alien contact, test alien environment, and calibrate. No, we're not going to touch that. The last time somebody went to an alien world, they came back pregnant, and you are not ready. I will not be raising a pregnant teenager. But yeah, this is really cool. So there's like an art place, and there's a classroom, and a bathroom. And then if we go up a floor, we have the gym, and a music room, and... I guess that's like the, the dean's office. Freedom in one hour. Okay, we need to actually do stuff. I need to go up to the attic. I want to see what that science stuff is. We got the woodworking, another classroom, like kind of technology based. And we have a cafeteria. And then on the top floor, we have a library and the science room. This is awesome. Where are you? What are you? Are you really flirting with her in the bathroom? They totally are too. Look at that. When you... Having a suggestive <laughs> conversation. Well then, that is... That's not what I... Where did you just put that? She just... She just put a rabbit in her pocket. Oh no, here it is. I'm not even doing anything. I'm just sitting here and enjoying it. I'm taking it all in. 
Whoa, are they, are they gonna, whoa, this went south quickly. Oh, they're clowning around. I was almost hoping there was gonna be a fight in the bathroom. Oh, I, I couldn't go upstairs and use the science stuff. The day's gonna end. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna call that a successful first day. It's not too bad. We didn't get anything done. Uh, grades are down. We're, we're kind of a D student, but we made a lot of friends and a romantic interest. Oh no, this is bad. This is the suck. Apple doesn't have her homework in her inventory. Like, uh, Tommy has his. Tommy, show us your homework. He's got it in his hand, so he's doing his homework, so he gets to keep his grades up. And we have Barbie, she's doing her homework. And then we have Apple, and it's not in her inventory, and she laid it down somewhere, and now it's lost. You are gonna be a D student forever! Okay, it's the next day, and it should pop up. There we go, it is Friday, good. So Apple needs to go to school again, but we're gonna send her alone. This time, I'm gonna try to go with Tommy. Hopefully this works. Send alone. Yeah, okay, it's time for Tom to take another, yeah, it's the same thing. Okay, we're gonna join him today, so today's gonna be his day, and he is an A student, so he needs to keep up his grades. All right, Tommy, here we go. We're actually gonna have a good day now, so let's let's pause and just see what we need to do. We need to learn from teachers, we need to use a punching bag, you can definitely do that, practice speech, and tell a joke. I feel like doing three things from learn a teacher, and if it equates to exactly the same thing as using a punching bag once, it's better to tackle these single things rather than going for the long triple. So, there is, let's see who's here first. Okay, yeah, we got a good looking girl, we might talk to her. We have, um, that's a guy I assume. Nolan, that is a guy <laughs> with a man bun. And, um, wasn't, isn't she downstairs? Whoa, 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 Allie Butt. Ali Butt, the game is bugged again. <laughs> okay, well, I'm just not gonna ask any questions. Here we go. Show to us. Huh? Your pick, Will Foy? Is that is that it? Um Tommy, your <laughs> Your gloves were stuck in your hands there. Okay, I think he's good. Dance. Why would we want to dance? Is there are there like music things hanging off the walls here somewhere? Oh, here we go. Mirror. Okay, practice speech. That's one of our things, right? Look at that speech. Look at those legs. God, Tommy, you are an absolute monster. Hello, lady. Hello, double lady. Hey, Tommy, stop talking to yourself. We have to take some time to interact with people. Tommy, stop talking to yourself. We need to take some time to interact with people. Okay, people don't want to apparently interact with Tommy. That's fine. We can't all find love on the first day of school. I need to wash my hands? How is that a part of school? Okay, you know what? That's easy. Wash hands. Here at Unilama High, you only get the highest level of education, such as Hand Washing 101. Do, 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 do. Okay, that was an amazing joke. Play the violin. Okay, that's right here. Let's see you practice your violin. Which reminds me, we can finally have a band because everybody is old enough. I need to remember that for a future episode because I still have all the stuff set up and I still really want to do that, even if you can't sing. So when we do start this band, are you going to be the violinist? Let's hear what you have, Tommy. Come on, show us. Show us what you can do. I think some of my brain just dribbled out my ear there. Okay, that's enough. We need to we need to wash our hands again. Hand washing 101 is a bi-daily course. You have to take it multiple times because practice makes perfect. Oh yeah, that's it. Channel your inner Kevin. That is the deepest V-neck I have ever seen. I'm only just now realizing. That goes down to like between his nipples. So manly. You know what, Tommy? We should have words with this guy, because it's super inappropriate to be flirty with your sister when he's a teacher. So, we are gonna have a rude introduction. Alright, tell him, Tommy. There you go. You ever talk to my sister like that again? I'll kick the crap out of you. You hear me? My dad beat up Justin Bieber, and he's way more G than you. Yeah, that'll teach him. Ooh, hello, lady. Who are you? This is... I keep... Oh, Ali Butt, that's right. We need to, uh, we need to... We can teach. Oh, that's cool. So maybe you can be a teacher as well. I never thought about that. I feel like it'd be really buggy, but it's still pretty cool. And she's just gonna take a picture of herself while we talk to her. I hear music, but I don't see where it's- here we go. We need to dance. What is that music? Oh, it's like a million things playing at once. I kind of like that one, actually. This is really good. Oh, let's dance together. 
It's kind of like Christmassy slow music, and yet he dances like his father. I really, I really shouldn't have expected any more. Oh, we were so close. I don't know how our day went. Plus one vacation day. Um, let's see. Tom is back from school. Friday nights are great for turning B's into A's. He could focus on that, perhaps. No! Uh-oh. Somebody's been getting addicted to working out again. What are we going to do about you, Emma? I need to, you know what? I just need to wall this stuff off again. I took it out for the slightest amount of time. Maybe I'll put it in my inventory. Because it is just getting out of hand. She does this every single episode. <laughs> she has some weird addiction. And you know what's funny? Other people have told me that they downloaded the family from the gallery, which you can do if you want to play um, as the whole Sauce family. They're on the gallery for you guys to download and enjoy. But apparently Emma is always addicted to working out in everybody's sims, and nobody can seem to figure out why, because she's not active. She doesn't have any of the strange traits, but she just wants to turn into She-Hulk all the time. But I think that's going to be it for this video, guys. I really like the go to school or get to school expansion pack or mod. I don't know what people call it, but it's really cool. Even if it is a little bit repetitive, it can get a little bit stale just doing these meaningless tasks. It's still interesting to kind of follow them and to get to do more things in their lives. I'm really looking forward to the kids not for doing this kind of stuff, not even for the get to work stuff, but more so for new relationships. Because with Kevin and Emma, we've had them together and we haven't really made a whole, like, really close friends or we haven't made uh, new romantic relationships in quite a while. And that's something that's one of the best parts of The Sims. So I'm looking forward to having some romantic interactions with these two with some new people. But thank you guys very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Oh, it's a monkey. Oh, I've been, oh no, it's a monkey. It is being attacked by uh, dildos. I'll save you, little monkey. I'll, I'll help. I'm good like that. I got them. Oh, that is awesome. I haven't seen one yet.